from the Solwezi deposit in Zambia. Now, usually we have these crystals compacted together on these lovely chunky clusters. And this crystal I managed to extract pretty much intact and uh, actually quite a nice example of the, the quartz crystals from the Solwezi deposit. Very mild amethyst. You'll see a little phantoming inside there, almost a V-formation running concurrent with the faces. Now what I find most appealing is when you look from the top down into the sky, the color almost changes into a much darker section. Look at those lovely V formations. Now, when I look at Brandberg quartz, I always look at I look for these V formations where there's a there's a form of the amethyst in concurrence with the main face. Um, also, quite interesting here, uh, uh, the form itself. We could call this the candle quartz, where you have a whole lot of smaller crystals sitting on the the side. This would be an indentation where another crystal would have sat at some point over there. Uh, uh, lengthwise, um, not a very large piece, yet the length is quite healthy, must be about 3 inches plus. And this would be all the way from uh, Zambia, from the Sulwezi deposit. A single amethyst, milky amethyst, even clear, all together on one crystal.